I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rice in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas. Hello again, Uncle Charles Wallingford back with another fragrance review and Today we have a blind buy fragrance review. I never had this particular fragrance until I purchased it recently, not today. This is not a unboxing, blind unboxing right off the bat. I have experienced this uh, a couple days and tried to see what I'm getting out of it instead of just doing a, a complete and utter blind uh, box open. Uh, fresh box opening uh, unboxing video. I've worn this a couple times and just not to forget what I'm here for, what you're here for is the Coach, the Coach Green. This is a men's fragrance. This is not meant to be a unisex fragrance. And I like to have more fragrances that are straight up for men, not the unisex. I found that sometimes the unisex are really nice. However, I don't like unisex for one reason, because if a woman is wearing it and then another woman smells it or my woman smells it on another woman, it destroys everything. Now this doesn't hit you hard with man. And I'll get into the, that in a second, but this is definitely a men's uh, cologne fragrance. Before we get started, let me go ahead and tell you about the, the, the scent breakdown. According to Fragrantia, you're going to have top notes of kiwi, bergamot, middle notes of rosemary and geranium, and base notes of cedar and moss. Okay, let me go ahead and open this up. Again, I've had this before. This part of this is for the showmanship. Now the bottle on this one, this is a great bottle. I do have the small, the small bottle, the 1.2 ounce. I didn't want to try anything. Again, it's a blind buy. I didn't want to try anything uh, and, and not like it and have a big old bottle of it. Now I will tell you straight up right now, I do like it and we'll get into why I like it, but let's go into what I, what I take in. Now I tell you, I told you what, Fragrancia thinks it's most likely what Coach put out. I take it as a new polo. The, think about the old green polo, polo green. That was the first polo. People may call it polo green now. But the very first polo, to me, this is a new way to take in the old green polo. You know what? I'm not wearing anything right now, so let's go ahead and get... Get something on me right now. Now this is, uh, I like the way this particular spray works. You turn it to the side and then you can spray it, but you got to make sure it's lined up. If it's not lined up, it won't spray. Now I know a lot of you like to hear what, how good the atomizer is the sprayer is uh, it's good enough if anything today as long as it has a sprayer it usually it's, it's going to be oh it's going to be pretty good uh, this is an eau de toilette so an eau de toilette will not have the staying power and the eau de toilette concentration will not have the uh engagement in the sense of how much range you will be taking up and that's not a terrible thing for this particular fragrance. When you buy this, and the reason why I purchased this, I was looking for a green spring light scent, but I wanted that green. I wanted that green. If you know what I'm talking about, I don't know how to put it in any other words. It's the green scent. I wanted that for spring. Spring has a different tone than summer. I didn't want summer. I wanted spring. Summer to me is it's 
a lot more potent. You want to have a fragrance that's a lot more potent. And it, it is, it's, it's just stronger. It's stronger. It's not the same as winter. Summer is not the same as winter. Uh, winter will have a little bit more spicy, fruity, baked good scent. Summer is more so fruit scent. This is more so flower or green rebirth. Now that's putting it in words. That's again, what does it smell like? It smells like old polo with, I can, that kiwi, I don't know if I'm picking up kiwi, but I'm picking up a sweet fruitiness. The sweet fruitiness, the wood, the cedar of that. Yeah, absolutely. Those other scents that they describe, mm, sure. Okay, it's there, I guess. However, uh, this is exactly what I wanted. Now, again, going back to the fact that it's an EDT, it is not going to be uh, something that it's just people are going to stop and say, oh, my God, what do you, what do you, uh, what do you have? People will pick up on it. I, I actually got a compliment or two with this. And uh, I don't usually, honestly, I don't usually get a lot of compliments on my fragrance. And the uh, person, they stopped, they literally, my coworker, they stopped, they say female, and they said, hey, that's really nice. I like that. And that was great. That was great how that turned out because I wear fragrances all the time and for them to stop for this one that I don't think that was that great and then say it's that great hmm, I think I might have something all right so I talked to you about it was a blind buy now I don't like to do blind buys that this may be one of my last blind buys I'll ever do if anything I'll purchase a discovery set and try that now, if it's something that's inexpensive, then I may do a blind buy. And this was only $30. So only $30, I, I'll do that all day. All day, I bought it from Max Aroma. Yep, looking at it, Max Aroma. So if you look around, you'll see coupon codes all over the place. A lot of the YouTubers that are bigger and stronger than me, they'll have coupon codes from here, there, and everywhere. Check that out, check them out. And then Max Aroma, Joma Shop. Um, what's the other one? Uh, fragrance, FragranceNet.com. Check those out to see where you can go. Amazon, paying full price, which is I think like $60. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know if $60 is it, especially being an EDT. However, it's a good one. It's a good one. And if, because I like it, and I'm talking about paying full re regular price or playing around $60, if you never had it before, that's what I should, I should be saying. If you, if you're experiencing it for the first time, you're blind buying. Yeah, I don't, I wouldn't, $60, no way. No way. Don't take that risk. So the reason why I purchased this is because I wanted a green fragrance. If you understand what that means, a lot of times you'll have green fragrances, you'll have like water fragrances, and you'll have like summertime fragrances, wintertime fragrances. Now, what would this be? This is a green fragrance. Where is this fitting? This is fitting more, I would say this is a good springtime, and it could be fitting for the office, the workspace, taking it to work. This is not going to smack anybody in the face. Also, this is not going to be seductive. I definitely will try again. And if you look at the glass, look at the uh, bottle here. The bottle is is a pretty cool, snazzy bottle. The box is nice. The box didn't get thrown away. That wasn't planned for me. <laughs> the box is going to get thrown away. No need to have this in the box. Take it out and uh, have it on your on your uh, de desk, mantle, wherever you put it, on your dresser, who have you. All right, that's pretty much it. I recommend trying this. I recommend looking around to get this blind buy it. Probably don't pay mo any more than forty five for it, including shipping and handling. 
Uh, if you can get it from Max Roma, I would say try Max Roma. They might have it for a good price. Give it a try. I'm Uncle Charles Wallingford. Only here to help.